and welcome to the show. We are here today on GTA 5 for some more racing and a little bit of a flight towards the city. Yes, off we go. Uh, <laughs> oh, we have a new car. This is a Cadillac Escalade. It's literally it. It's the new cavalcade. Uh, <laughs> which, which, yeah, we have, we have got. Um, I know nothing about it, but it's, I mean it's something different, I guess, to have uh, to have added to, added to the game. Uh, whoa! Why was Bumpy stopped in the middle of the road? <coughs> That's off to a pretty poor start. Uh, but there we go. We are. It's gone terribly wrong for us from the get-go. Things can only improve from here onwards. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, we'll see if we can. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see what we can do. Uh, this track this is a Glacier Circuit. It's an older one. I can't remember what car we drove around it. It's been a while, quite a while since we have we have gone around this one. Um, we've got, of course, Slipstream and Catch Up turned on. So yeah, even though we've we've had a wacky start, we should be able to rejoin the group fairly easily. We'll be brave through the chicane and see if we can. We'll get back into the into the slipstream. Now, I would imagine, could be wrong, of course, I would imagine these should be quite good in terms of... Uh, that's three cars in a row that I've watched clonk that wall. Oh, bloody hell. That was a big off for a danger man. Uh, these should be quite good in terms of contact. I would have thought they'd have gone away with some, some contact without weird, wacky GTA uh, collisions. Oh, I forgot about the chicane being there. Uh, we've got very, we've got all sorts of crossed up. The rain's not helping matters massively, but uh, yeah, so they'll, they'll, they'll likely get away with contact with that. In theory, uh, they should be able to bump drop. But you never know. Sometimes the big SUVs can't. Uh, whether this track probably not going to be the best place for bump drafting necessarily. Uh, like, there's not, there's no huge straights around the place. We've got anyone coming with us over this side? Not really. Chris is trying to go through the middle. It's three and four wide, not quite, heading in towards the chicane. No, it is three wide. I well, just kind of blipped the throttle forward because I didn't want to be involved in the three wide, but we're involved in it whether we wanted to or not. Wasn't really a good way out of that one at that point. We're going to try and sneak our way past Liam here on the exit if we can. We are going to be on an awkward line towards this, and this chicane has claimed many a victim already. We are through nicely that time around, less cars having accidents. Uh, I've got no slipstream going on at all. He's just given up. Nothing. Absolutely nothing going on down there. That's fun. That's, that's, that's what we like to see. GTA. We love it. Uh, can I pull that one up in time? We can. A little bit of a sneaky pass. Oh, got my... <laughs> I was busy watching. Busy looking at the, oh, the contact and wasn't looking where I was going. <laughs> I thought I had a little bit more time before I had to make the corner. Never mind. I, yeah, it's, it, I say it's okay. Oh, pfft. Uh, nine tails. That's. I don't know you can recover that. Uh, no, you no, you can't. <laughs> Never mind. An alternate line was attempted. An alternate line did not work at that point. Oh crap! Oh dear. Oh dearie me. That has gone poorly. I'm. <laughs> I think there was a big slipstream pull. I think Ewan was suddenly going very quick, and there was not quite enough space for that many Escalades. We, it could have gone worse. There was a very real possibility of that dumping me off the off the map. So the fact that we only got spun around, uh, it's better than it could have been. I think that's the sound effect to sum up that crash. Really, <laughs> it could have been so much worse. Oh, where is Chris going to appear? Uh, I didn't know how far that car was going to end up sliding. Oh, Chris has had a bad time into turn two-ish. I haven't been counting the corners. Not quite sure. But that chicane. Oh, Bumpy is over the sort of edge of the circuit. Although you would hope that this would have a little bit of ground clearing and be able to sort of climb back up. Uh, we are alongside a nine tails. Oh, I don't know if we. I think we might length our nine tails actually a little bit there. Not so good. Uh, we're desperately looking for some. Oh, it's very dangerous going for a curb boost when you're that close to the edge of the map. I'm not the only one. Shadow was as well. Uh, the pack's been a little bit spread out. There's been a few bumps and shunts with these. And the car's actually not that bad to drive. 
Uh, it is a bit slidey, but I think that's more to do with the fact that it's raining than anything. Uh, as, as, far as, yeah, as far as the vehicle goes, I mean, it's not that bad. It's not a supercar or anything, but it drives well enough, and it seems to be good enough in sort of close quarters racing. Uh, it could we? I mean, we'd have to have an absolutely mega final lap. It's not impossible to catch the lead three, especially if they start fighting each other, but it's going to be difficult um, in this one. Oh, go on, Ewan. I'll try and push you forward, but I don't really want to... I don't really want to make it multiple wide through there, but... <laughs> the problem is, if we sit and wait, Mucha's going to pass us all. Uh, and we're going to not have... Uh, I don't think we're catching the leaders anyway. It's kind of... It looks like it's been a little bit unfortunate for us here. We have uh, been a little bit rude on getting past you. And <laughs> well, we're just a, we've got to go now kind of manoeuvre. Ah, uh, we do got back anyway. Uh, we'll try and follow Mute forward down here. Uh, can we? I mean, the one thing that might... If we can do it right... The thing that we can't afford to do, I had to bail completely on the corner because Mute was having a spin. Oh, we're not going to be close enough. The thing that we needed to do is be in a good spot for a big slipstream pull down here, and we aren't. And unfortunately for me, we are at the front of a big group with no one to help us. We're going to win the secondary race here, but we are not going to win the main race. And I think Ewan is going to beat us, try to sneak a little bit of a curb boost at the end, but couldn't quite do it. Ah... That about sums up that race for me. <laughs> it didn't go to plan. Oh. Uh, God damn it. Well, it, it, it was a bit less of a plan for Chris in all of that. Ah. Uh, quite an interesting vehicle. Looks like the damage model is quite good on, actually. Judging by the what's left of Chris's car in that shot. Um, yeah, not a bad vehicle to drive. Not, not bad. It feels big and heavy that you would kind of hope slash expect from it. Well, that nine tails, of course, for taking the, the victory here. Um, but yeah, d d race did definitely not uh, end up going my way. We have got a Camaro convertible up next. I've immediately forgotten the name of it, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's. I mean, it's just a Camaro convertible. Uh, it is not raining this time around. We can have the roof down. Hopefully, we can have a little bit... Uh, things will go a little bit more to plan in this race, but we shall see. We have got a good start, though. That's going to that's gonna ask for trouble. I, mean, I had a good run. The car behind... I, I, got, I got out of the throttle early because I knew we weren't going to... weren't wanting to send it three wide. Car behind... <laughs> ended up giving us a bit of a bump, but it yeah, didn't do too much to, to cause any, any major problems. We are on to this sort of back straight... Oh, God, the, uh, the, the catch up very powerful. Nine Tails' car has basically just broken down at this point. Uh, Liam is to the lead of the race. Now, let's fling it through the chicane. We've got lots more grip uh, in this vehicle, as you would expect. Feels much lighter and much livelier than the, you know, than the cavalcade. And that's, you know, as it should do. We will get past and we will lead the way through the chicane. Anyone going to hit that inside curb? No, inside, uh, whatever you want to call it. But everyone. Avoided it nicely. Ninetales sneaks their way back past as we drop from the lead to ninth place. Fliska with... Oh! Bouncing off a wall. Almost made a mad move. Oh, God. Danger Man came to a stop through there. And, uh... Oh, we picked the wrong car to be behind on the way through that one. You just... Oh, although Chris and Mute have now had an issue. I'd rather have that happen on lap one, though. If that happens at the start of the final lap, that sucks. At the start of the second lap, uh, I should say, that's much more manageable. We've got plenty of time to catch up. We've got plenty of time to rejoin the fight. If, you know, we don't really make any more silly mistakes. God, that's so much speed. Slipstream picking up middle of a high-speed chicane is uh, always a terrifying one. Still got some... We still had the remnants of Slipstream off Bumpy there but uh, didn't really want to work. We will not make life awkward through that corner. It's no real point. I'm better off sitting back and just doing that. We can go and outrun Bumpy towards turn one. Uh, so it was that was very much a case of it's... You could try and make the really awkward pass into the final corner. Oh, there's been a kerfuffle up here, which we have avoided. We have got through. I don't know where that car is. I was trying to rejoin. That's a, it's a really difficult place to rejoin down at that chicane. Because uh, wherever you get fed into the circuit isn't great. Oh, uh, Shadow's gone a bit wide. How has Gliska ended up like that there? <laughs> what has that happened? 
slightly confused. I, I'm going to guess it involved the red tube on the outside, probably running up the side of it somehow. Maybe got, maybe got nudged and put on two wheels and managed to somehow climb the tube. Uh, that's definitely not a normal place for a car to end up like that. And you, you just never know. When you come to a GTA race, you never know what you're going to go around the corner and find. Uh, we've got huge run. Why could this not have been the final lap? We would have. Nah, we would have got second, I think. We almost would have stolen a victory out of nowhere. I mean, we're not even halfway through the race yet. Long way to go, but it was still a cool slipstream run. So here, there is definitely a chance. Oh, hello. Uh, there is definitely a chance for a slipstream run to the line. It's, mm, if you're close, I think it's, it's going to be one of those slipstream runs that is almost more effective if you're further back. Like where I was, a good few car lengths back, it's quite effective. I think if everyone's bunched up, I think you might struggle to make that slipstream work. But we'll have to wait and see what transpires. Oh, I've got a bit too quick into there. Uh, we get Liam a bump. Amazingly, did not cause more problems. That's quite a heavy hit. Uh, this car, I can't remember if we even... I think we drove the Mustang. I don't think we drove the Camaro convertible that's, that's come out recently. Quite like this one. Oh, the synchronised crash has happened again. I'm trying to not go in the pit lane. <laughs> Liam is the only one that's got away from that. <laughs> it was, oh, you do see it. Oh, Ewan did go through the pit lane. It's not stopped. Oh, Ewan, uh, Ewan missed the checkpoint, I think, in the pit lane. <laughs> that's unfortunate. Um... So, whoa, yep, that's not what you need either. What you what you have happen, I mean, you see it, yeah, you can even see it in real racing, but you certainly see it in GTA and even like Forza Motorsport. Sometimes you get so engrossed almost in following the car in front of you that if the car in front hits the wall, you hit the wall because you are literally following exactly in its tracks and you are just committed to that one and I think that may have been what happened here. There is also an element of when you are right behind a car you just lose a little bit of visibility. I mean, you know, we're all driving from third person for for this is not as bad as some others but still little things can hide behind a car um, and that pack was so close together it's easy to uh, slightly misjudge because you're looking almost you know, somewhere else on the screen and whatnot but uh, yeah it, it's always entertaining when you get the chain, the chain reaction crashes it was the only one, like, while it was a spectacular crash, everyone actually came out of it relatively well, because only one car escaped being Liam, so we all slipstreamed together and quickly caught up. You were missing a checkpoint, kind of scuppered that plan, but uh, there we go. We are heading, oh, I say we're heading through that corner, to the outside line, oh, that little dip on a curb. I was trying to sneak a little bit, and Ninetales turned up. Uh, we, we've got speed, we've got position I'm not I could may I might have had the momentum to fling past nine tails there I'm just not sure that was one of those I think we probably could have done it and I was playing a little bit cautiously but I do would rather be cautious at some of these than launch it and make a big accident especially because we are in now the closing stages of the race two more laps to go where is that car's gone that side yeah two more laps to go if you fall out of the lead group now a minor way you might get away with it, but uh, yeah, if you fall out in a big big way, you're going to struggle to recover now because you're just running out of laps. Uh, I think that was Danger Man clicked that inside. I think it's all Glist clicked the wall, actually, on that inside and just ping off of it. Not what you want to be doing at this, at this stage in the game. We can, we can put our car where I want to, which is there, and we can utilise the kerb. And we know we're about to be passed, and there's very little we can do. I'm just moving out. I said moving out of the way, but I'm just putting my car. Uh, level 8's going to go for a brave, brave sweep around the outside. Uh, but it was far enough ahead that this wasn't really too much of a problem. We had a much more dicey time fighting with Amy through that corner. Uh, let's carry some momentum on the exit. Uh, where do we want to... See, I think... don't think the lead is ever going to be able to hold on that to... Big accident for Liam, holy crap. That is a tremendous shunt for Liam. Uh, I think level 8 was trying to get across and let, moved too late. Squeezed Liam into the uh, curbing and that just launched Liam's car in the air. That's probably both of them done and out of this one. Uh, uh, not with a chance anymore. Uh, that much time lost at this, uh, you know, as we said, you have a big accident like that on lap 2, you can recover. Have a big accident like that on the final lap, 
and it's pretty much game over. Uh, oh, we got a huge shove from behind there from Ninetales. Someone's going to have a big... Amy's got a big run looking for a way past Mute. Can't do it. Uh, we are going to be stuck on the outside heading through here. Mute will hold on to the lead. Gliska's looking. We got... Uh, we got, I can't got unsettled big time through there. We got unsettled, but it was easy enough to get it back under control. That's what we wanted. And that's good news for the vehicles in terms of drivability and raceability. We are in a very strong place here. If some slipstream wants to kick in, now would be about the right time. We're trying to get a sneaky curve boost and Danger Man's done all of us. <laughs> I thought we were going to do it. Didn't realise there was going to be a car coming from miles back. Danger Man with a massive slipstream came from absolutely miles back because we were all busy fighting each other. We were all busy fighting each other, battling to get some slipstream in the right place and Danger Man turns up with a bloody massive shot of nitro through the pack. <laughs> Fair play. Fair play. I thought I'd won that one. I thought we'd got it right. I thought we got it right on the curb. Uh, Amy was giving us a bit of a nudge because there was nowhere to, to really go with it and Danger Man turned up. <laughs> well done. <laughs> oh, Danger Man's a bit I like both those cars actually. They're both quite good fun to, to, to race. Um, you know, they create some good close racing and they're nice to drive. Challenging circuit, that one. A couple of narrow sections you've got to be very careful on. But uh, yeah, that was I, I had a good time, even if we just got 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 pipped to the line, goddammit. Uh, that, though, is going to be it for this for this video. Thank you all very much uh, for watching. Thank you to Gliska as well for building this, uh, this wonderful circuit. That shall be it from me. Until next time, a goodbye.